Welcome into Alumni Field here under the lights at Brock University where we have some men's soccer action here on the final regular season of the game for the Badgers as the 4-3-4 and four Brock Badgers will be taking on the number one ranked national team in the country, the 9-0-1 York Lions. I'm Mitchell Kane alongside my co-host Isaiah Nenny. Isaiah, what are going to be the key factors for Brock to come out successful here against the number one team in the country? Yeah, this is definitely going to be a tough, you know, challenge here for the Badgers. I mean, as you said, York, just number one team, nationally ranked, haven't lost a game this season. Just look very strong offensively, defensively. One key for Brock is definitely going to be to keep solid. You know, defensively, they're number three as well. So this is this is a number three defense coming up against that number one offense in York. This is going to be a, a game of heavyweights, and we'll see who comes out on top. But And, you know, secondly, it's going to be about figuring out who's going to be up there um, offensively on your attack, who's going to be the one making plays for you guys, who's going to be uh, the one that steps up and, and makes that big play, gets a goal to go here. And, you know, so you guys are more uh, – the, the, the Badges are more comfortable, and you know maybe it's uh, the dem uh, the demonics that uh, the Nisi, maybe uh, Michael Solomon as well. But you know whoever it is, it, Badges need someone. Not not a lot of goals scored this season, and just been you know like five goals scored this season in the lower half in in, in the OUA and goals scored. So uh, definitely an area that they've uh, lit, uh, struggled you know, a little bit on and, you know, somebody got to step up as the playoffs is re, uh, nearing as well. And lastly, just earning that point, that final point, you know, as, you know, the race to the OUA uh, postseason is underway and this is the last game of the season and Brock currently uh, sits comfortably in a playoff uh, position. You just want to maybe better yourself or just secure yourself even uh even more but uh for brock and york both comfortably in their positions tonight it's just going to be about uh getting a result to keep in form to keep that momentum especially if you get it against the best team in the country right now yeah we've got a tale of two teams here tonight as the york lions enter on a five game win streak while the brock badgers enter with no wins in their last six contests coming off of numerous draws and losses after a solid start for the Badgers. And York is out six points ahead of McMaster in that number two position. So, you know, that first team, that top team gets a bye. So York is comfortably sitting with that next week bye. And, you know, they're definitely thinking about that postseason run. This has been an impressive season for them so far. A key player for the Badgers tonight is going to be Taylor Mascolizzi, that goalkeeper. When we were here last week against the Guelph Griffins, in which was a 0-0 tie, we saw Mascolizzi make 10 saves. And this season, he's posted that 9.02 save percentage, which is good for fourth in the OUA, and a 0.5 goals against average, which is good for third. And a Guelph team as well, as you said, that you know they're very impressive uh, attacking as well. You know, Brock, uh, that, that was a golf team that scored a lot of goals in such a uh, short amount of time and uh, this season. And, you know, Brock to hold them to 0-0 here at home was a big result for them. And, yeah, Miss Golzi just coming up big for them. Brock, the Badgers, hopefully uh, hoping that Miss Golzi could bring one out of his hat today again. We're just over three minutes into this one here. Teams still feeling each other out. This throw-in's going to be blown down. It's going to be a Brock ball going the other way. And just the start of the game, it's been a lot of, you know, back and forth. Brock really uh, just trying to ooh, get comfortable as a big kick comes in there from the Brock back line. Just had a play here on, the, on, on this sideline here, but... You know, against a team like York, you got to be careful, right? So, Brock, you see them uh, starting here early, just very calculated attack, very calculated defense as well, where they're not trying to make too much mistakes. And this is top defense in the in the country. So this is a team that, you know, top defense in the OUA. So this is a team in the country, you know, this is a team that could definitely hold York to a, a result that favors them. It's just going to be something to be seen. York has essentially already locked up that number one seed, so they will be getting a bye next week for the first round of playoffs. Brock fighting to earn that next spot and 
to fight for potentially an away game. They likely will not have a home playoff game, but Brock at home this season, 1-1-3, one, one, and three, so 3-2-1 three, and one on the road. Again, another Brock team that's a bit of a better performer on the road, so getting any kind of result, not a big deal as Brock has locked up a playoff spot. Yeah, and when you look at that, as a Badger fan, you prefer for them to play away, right? Because just one win at home, not so convincing. A lot of ties and then just that loss as well. It's just not something that you want to come in, uh, you know, have home, a home field advantage and get lost out early, but have better chances where you have three wins on the road and be able to, you know, get etch out a win over a team in the playoffs on the road and on a momentous night, which we've seen the bad Badgers do multiple times this season. This one's now played in. It's going to be moved back for York as they look to set up. This one's moved over to Jurek. Just, just to show you how confident this team is and just how they play. I mean, the goalie comes up and there's just one defender here, back here. They, they, they have so much confidence in in the way, you know, their attack moves that they, you know, now they have two guys flanking back a little bit. But, I mean, you know, just to have your goalkeeper as basically, you know, just your second defender back here, it's like you could just see early how confident these guys are with their with their attack. The confidence is key, and that's one way to get that number one offense in the OUA. They're sending eight or nine guys in deep just about every possession they get. Yeah. Now, good cut up the middle. Still pushing here. Up middle, broken up by Brock. Trying to move the other way. A nice move here. Brock pushing up the other way. That's Pereira. However, this one's going to be off the foot of the Badger and going to be a York throw-in. But see, that's where the Badgers can really thrive, though, because if you just have one, two players just tracking back as a defender in the back line, and the Badgers can counterattack, right? Get get the, the jump on them, and it's just all uh, all depending on how, how that link-up play works. It seems as as if the, the York defenders have some quick legs as well where they recover quickly. So if Brock can, you know, get on them quickly enough and be able to make a play into the net, I think they could strike early. Yeah, like you said, it's going to be crucial on those counter strikes. If they can get into some space with some speed, it's going to be tough for York to defend against it. A team that just hasn't gotten a lot to go offensively on the attacking side of the ball this whole year. The Badgers are a little frustrated getting those goals into the back of the net, and you're going to need results as you're going into the playoffs. So this is one of those games that if you could find a result, could really bolster your momentum where it's like, okay, we could play the best in the conference and be able to get results against them. So I feel like this is a big momentum. You know, this could be a big momentum boost for Brock if they could win this game or find a way to even get a goal in this game honestly even a draw would seem yeah. like ideal at this point against this number one ranked nationally team who has only had one draw all season long yeah and a, a one one draw would be better in my opinion than a zero zero draw just because it shows that the brock badgers penetrated their defense right penetrated their defense some uh did you know something that not a lot of teams have done this year and that would be very impressive i feel like that gives you the confidence zero zero would just mean that you know you defended well you, you you're doing something that you already know you can do which the badges already know they can defend really really well top five team defensively top you know and in, in goals allowed they're in top three so that's just something you know one one draw that that's something that you hope for one nothing win from brock i mean to end the season and York to lose their first game on the last game of the season, that would suck for them. But for the Badgers, that would that that would be such a you know confidence boosted there. Just under ten minutes into this one here, score is still zero zero. As the Badgers have the ball near midfield, pushing down that right side. This one's stripped away by York, and York's gonna control and move it back over the middle. back and forth here before it's out of play off the Badger's shin. That's going to be a York throw-in. York moving it around that D-line. Push it back to that far side, looking to make moves. This one played through. Good burst of speed. However, this one's going to be too strong. It's going to be a goal kick coming up for the Badgers. 
just seeing glimpses of how they move the ball. They like to move the ball long passes through those sides, get a link up play going through there. If they get lucky enough and get get it through the middle, they'll be they'll they'll take that opportunity as well. But these guys have speed up front. That's that's bottom line. New York Lions 4-0-1 oh, on the road this season. Looking to make it 5-0-1 oh, as they head in towards the playoff race. Skolzy going to be kicking it off here for Brock. Now sends this one back out to midfield. Here he played by the head of the Badger. Taken away by D. Dominiscus, but cut off by the Lions. Lines now moving up this near side. Tries to play this one wow. through. Good ball. Bit too strong. It's going to be another goal kick for the Badgers. What placement in that pass. I mean, the ball was going out of bounds and able to just keep the ball in, and get a little curve onto that, make that pass happen. Little less power, and that's, that's one of the most beautiful passes I've seen all the season. But, you know, that goes out of bounds, luckily, there for the Badgers. And, you know, Badgers able to set up here again. Hopefully they can get the ball out of their own end, be able to make a few plays on this York side of the of field. Karyuki tries to play this one up to D. Dominiscus. A key factor here in this game is going to be the wind, it seems, as that pass by Karyuki kind of died in the wind. D. Dominiscus had to make a play back to a great move here by Carroll to get away, but ends up being stripped away by the Lions. Yeah, I've seen skill just on show right there. Sometimes it's just a little bit too much, though. Carroll with a good show of some footwork before being stripped by the lines. Lines moving it up the other way as it's Mack pushing it up. This one's going to be dropped back to Jurek, who plays it up the side. It's going to be taken away by Carroll, and the Badgers trying to push it up now on this sideline. Badgers are able to make a play on it as it's Bassetti. He's going to send it back to Miscolzi. He plays it back out to Bassetti. Bassetti moves it up to Carroll. Carroll can't quite get away, and this one's going to be off the leg of Sabaduka. And a Brock thrown coming up. Just see the way they pressure the ball as soon as a Brock player gets the ball onto his feet. It's just relentless. I mean, they move with pace and they move with just purpose. I mean, that's why they've been so good, right? They just, they're everywhere. Oof, seems as a Brock player got hit in the place nobody wants to get hit as a man. It's right there. Play stops. Hopefully that's a foul for... For York, be, that's, a, that's a position right there. If Brock gets a free kick there, seeing them get some lofted balls inside where they just being a little dangerous, but probably not going to be a Brock free kick there. It's D. Dominiscus, who is down for the Badgers, who is their leading goal scorer on the season with two goals. He's back up, gives the thumbs up to the bench, and he's going to stay in this game. Yeah, it's good to see that he's good, all okay. This Badgers offense, this Badgers attack, that's a player that you need, the Dominiscus. You know, you've been trying to involve him these last few weeks, and just gotta get, just gotta get something going. I mean, anybody on that front line, on that attacking line, that could just get a just a simple minute of brilliance, and they've had it. You know, they've had a lot of brilliance throughout the season. It's just when they get to that final third, it's just not linked up because it's sometimes it's just not enough players on there, right? Where they have a lot of players defending back with the place that that they have where it's a more defend uh defending uh defended defend first oriented team right where they're not thinking score first like maybe this york team is look at how they set up on their counter attacks york has two three players down here brock will have four or five when they're counter attacking or when they're attacking building up or you know york resorts to one sometimes right so it's like it's different play styles and just been hard for Brock. Let's see if they could get something to go with this, though. Only one player in the back for York. I want to see them attack them. York now trying to push down this near side. Taking their time, looking to set up. Brock not applying some tight pressure. Taken down, and the whistle will be blown. A good opportunity for York here early in this game, only 14 minutes in. They've done well, right? I mean, the York, the York Lions have done well to attack you know, and find spaces to be able to move deeper into this Brock side of the field. And now they get a free kick here in a position where they could get the loft ball inside, head on it. And we can see that number one offense score very early. 
Mack with the kick. He fires it in, and this is going to be directed away off the head of the Badger, and it is going to be a York corner coming up. And the danger is not over for the Badgers just yes, yet. That was nice defensive work for them to be able to just push this to a corner kick, and you know now just got to do it again and be able to clear this ball out and not allow that goal. Mack going to be taking this kick again for the Lions. Lines it up, here's the fire in. Oof. It's a low shot, deflected away off the chest of the Badger, and the Badger's able to clear it out. Steve Dominiscus now working down that far side. He's cut off, regained by the Badgers. Badger's pushing it up. Looking to slow up, and a little bit of a tie up here. Call's going to go against Mutaj, and the Badger's gonna get a free kick. I'm, I'm just confused on why that pass didn't get passed there. I mean, there was an opportunity for that ball to get lofted into the, the attack and for Badgers to have a proper opportunity at a counterattack and the ball just stayed on his feet. Bassetti able to shake off the attack by Mack. He's able to work it back. So now it's gonna be played all the way back to Di Giovanni. He's gonna make a tight move as Mack pressuring him with some speed. Carroll now taps this one up and it's going to be off the foot of Pabla and a rock throw coming up. Even though York's defended well, I mean, uh, attacked well. Brock's done their uh, own share of playing well, defending well, and now looking to attack well. Pass looked like it was. Di Giovanni gets it back to Mascolzi, who plays it up to that far side. This one now moves through. A nice little pass here. Ooh. Some good passing by the Badger, but it's broken up. And it's going to be a Brock throw in near midfield. But you see them getting a little bit more dangerous, right? These Badgers have those moments of brilliance, and maybe this one could click tonight here, be able to get that first opening goal. York regains possession near midfield, and they're going to slow it down and move it back to their line, and now back to their keeper. Rock not applying a lot of pressure, only two guys up for them. I mean, yeah, you know, you just you're seeing it, and you think, oh, you think it's because of that right there. That was a nice ball through. However, the cross attempt is blocked. This one does get through, but shot away by the Badgers. Yeah, I know for York, as soon as a player for Brock moves out of position in that back line or in that in that midfield, that. Uh, the, you know, moves out of position to come pressure the ball up here, up front, uh, at, at the middle of the field. It's just, you know, that pass gets lofted immediately. Just see that open space. As soon as they see a little bit of open space, they're passing it there. That's impressive from this York team. York over the last couple minutes or so has dominated possession here, especially in Brock territory. Brock not showing a lot of aggress aggressive, like, attacking, I should say. Yeah, it's been all defending for a little bit here for the Badgers. Which is very common of Badger soccer, which we've seen this year. This is now played through. He's got lots of space. The shot attempt blocked away. This one's going to be Ooh, saved. that's a foul. Yeah. And it's going to be a Brock throw-in coming up. A nice defensive play there by Jake Kelly to force the turnover off of York and regain possession for the squad. Yeah, and to, to make that free kick happen there, I mean, for, for the for the Badgers, that was a nice defensive possession to stop the York Lions. It was looking a little dangerous there for them. Now let's see if the Badgers can turn it around, move the possession, and make something of theirs happen for themselves. You know, offensively, attacking-wise, they haven't been too bad at all, honestly. You know, they've gotten a few runs down the field, even though no shots on target yet. They've gotten, you know, promising looks as uh, early in this game. I slightly mentioned this earlier, but it looks like the wind is going to come into factor here for oh, both for of sure. these teams because Brock's had a couple kicks that have just kind of floated and hung up in the air and died on them, whereas York's able to put some deep balls through, and they're going maybe a little too hard for them. Yeah, and you, you see that change. I mean, that the the direction of the wind is coming in, right? It's it's it doesn't favor Brock; it favors York, and it's definitely heavy tonight. Yeah, seeing that ball lofted in the air, staying hanging there for a little bit longer, you can see it. Yeah, you're definitely right. It's definitely a windy night. And it's definitely going to have an impact on the the overhead passes, the long passes for the Badgers, especially when they're on this side of the field. 
Karayuki with the ball now. Moves it over the middle. Rock with a through pass here. Cut off by the Lions and moved back to Karayuki. He's able to control. Moves it over to Solomon. Solomon trying to push it up, but ends up back on the foot of Karayuki. He's going to play it back to his keeper, Miskolzi. He's got to control a bouncing ball here. Tries to play it up, but this one is not able to be kept in. Close play, but Pereira can't quite keep it in. Very close. I, I almost thought he had that as well. Wind. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's coming into play. Yeah. Lions looking to slow it down. They push it to their back line. Badger's giving them all kinds of space here. Really letting them walk right in and set up. So now try to be played through. Good ball. Contact made. And, and the call will be made, and it's going to be the Lions ball. Yeah, that's against the Badgers, I mean. You're looking at it, and that's an opportunity for the York Lions to get one of their, you know, lofted. This is this is a better position than a, a corner kick because just of the of the placing of the of the cross you could put it it's a little closer you could angle it a little better as well so your clients got a golden opportunity here early in the second half just 20 minutes 21 minutes gone mac taking the kick here for the lions Officials talking it through as some players start jawing back and forth in the box. Here comes Max kick. And this one's deflected off of a badger. And now we will get a corner kick coming up for the Lions. And just continuing to apply that pressure the Lions are. I mean, they're 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 giving themselves the opportunities to be able to get uh, out in front here early. And let's see if the Badgers can just hold up defensively. Last week, we seen Taylor Miskolzi just hold up his end of the deal. I mean, you know, just blocking every shot that came his way. So let's see if they can do that again this week. Here's the play into the box. Ball still bouncing around. This one's controlled by Miskolzi. It was offside as well there. Lucky break there for the Badgers. Yeah. So the Badgers are able to slow it down. But even then, even before that, Muscozzi <laughs> still got that save. He's still impressive, still playing as impressive as he can. Going into that postseason with great form, that's what you need. You know, you need your goalkeeper to be playing well. All these aspects of your team, but goalkeeper and your tag, those are two important parts of your team because he allows goals and he blocks them and your attack, they score goals. And one of the, one of the two is playing very well right now. Seems like the Barack motto of soccer is defense wins championships. And going into the playoffs with one of the top defenses, that just might be the case. It is true, though. Defense does win championships. And if you're able to get timely goals. As this one's played through to D. Delmeniscus. Good battle for it here between the two. A little shoving match. This one's crossed over the middle. Fires. And this one's blasted over the net. Wow. Great. The opportunity that they were looking for as well. A bit too strong there off the foot of the Badger. And this is, you know, that's one of those opportunities that you can't really be given up against good teams like York. I mean, that's right in front of the keeper. Keeper had no play on the ball. It was just a Badger in the net. Got to tap it in right there. You got to take your time. This one now played through. D. Dominiscus goes down. No call by the official. Looked like he tripped on his own there. York's able to slow it down. Badgers, as of late, looking a little dangerous. Wow, what an opportunity. We're just over halfway through this first half now as this ball is just going to sail and become a goal kick. The Badgers and Lions still tied here at zeros as we approach the 25th minute mark. Going to be gonna, gonna be seen, I mean, going to be something to see how long that 0-0 a zero, zero, uh, just leads uh, game holds as both of these teams have been very, very dangerous with their attacks and had their opportunities. And you know who's going to be the first to get it to go? Who's going to be the first to get that first goal in? Ooh, 
as the wind. Wow, I do not think Miskolzi was trying to kick that ball outside because they were just playing it back. And I believe, like, yeah, the wind, it looked like that ball is outside and gone. It's onto the road right now. New ball will be played in. The Lions now have it deep in Brock territory on the throw in. Gonna slow it down and move it back to center. We're gonna play this one back. York really setting it up here. Try to play this one through, but it's cut off by Badger defenseman and played out of bounds. Lions now with possession in Brock territory. This one's played back out to center. Pressured by D. Dominiscus, but the lines are able to send it back in deep. Give me another lines throw in coming up here. This is going to be something to see if the Lions could again get comfortable in their game. As the Padres have, for the most part, played really well against a pretty good Lions team, just held their own, right? Being able to regain possession quickly. That's what you want. You want to have possession on your feet most time in the ball. Nice loft ball in there by Miskolzi. Get the ball outside. Ah, it's not Brock ball though, but it's play, playing well, right? I mean, against good teams, just want to hold your own, and the, the Badgers are definitely holding their own right now. They're a good team they're, uh, in their own right as well, but getting their opportunities, they got a chance to make maybe upset this, this game here and if these guys are uh, their first loss of the season, if they play right, get a few goals up. Hard tackle wow. here, pops right back up, and it is a Badger down. It looks like D. Dominiscus again, and he may have a serious injury as York plays this one through the box. Good opportunity, man up here. So now in the box, try to play it to the outside. D. Dominiscus still down for the Badgers. Rock just trying to get this one out of play, I would assume. Doesn't yeah. get it out. I'm I'm surprised why they haven't played this ball out yet, though. After the, the, the play was broken up because D. Dominiscus is still on the field. So now try to be played through, and offside is going to be called. Brock will now be able to finally tend to him. Hopefully he's okay. It looks like he uh, went down. And an opportune time for the Badgers as well. They were moving down the field well, and then just out of nowhere went down. Seems like he took a bad tackle. Hopefully he's okay. And, you know, for the most part, I mean, the Badgers have held out the York Lions out of their own end, and they did so again there, even though that they were down a player. And, yeah, he's going to have to step out for for just a few seconds just because he's got to get the ball back into play, and he wasn't in play. Or I'm, oh. Looks like we're getting a bit of an injury yeah, timeout almost. I think so, yeah. I think the Dominiscus, maybe he's going to be out for the game looking like, I don't know if there's movement on that uh, Brock bench. Looks like there might be. Looks like an ankle injury for yeah, the Dominiscus. Unfortunately. Looks like he's out of the game. And it looks like it's going to be Luca Danessi who will come in for the Badgers. Uh, that's a blow for the Badgers. I mean, the Dominiscus was looking to make his mark made, uh, you know, end the season off, cap it off with a good, you know, uh, you know, maybe a goal, a assist, something, you know, a, a contribution to this team getting a win here. They were definitely had high hopes for this game. Hopefully he's good for the start of the playoffs next week. Definitely probably taking him out for precautionary reasons, yeah. taking him out in yeah, next week's playoffs. Got to... Got to have him Hopefully. heal up for Wednesday. Yeah. Battle for it now. Whistle's going to be blown. It's going to go York's way. York trying to play this one through. And it's going to be a yellow card against the Badgers. As it was a heads-up play by York here. To quickly play it off the Badger and draw the yellow on him. Yeah, he was, he was, he was moving a little slow. He was trying to take his time and not allow York to... You know, beat them to the jump and, and 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 play that ball quickly. So, you know, that's a, that's not the type of yellow you want to get at this point in the game as well. It's 30 minutes to go. I mean, 30 minutes uh, gone in the game. About 15 minutes left in the half. 
definitely not a yellow you want to receive. York with possession of it, moving it between their defensemen. Try to play this one through. It's going to be a bit too strong. It's going to roll all the way to Muscolzi, who was able to scoop it up. Really trying their luck with that long ball, but yeah, the wind maybe it won't help. Uh, maybe it won't be in their favor as well. I mean, the way the ball's gone, it, it, it hasn't looked too good when the, the ball goes into the wind. Danessi with a nice pass here. Brock tries to cross this over into the box, wow. and that one just hits off the side of the foot of Connor Carroll, I believe, and it just went directly sideways. I, I don't know if it was blocked there. I don't know if it was deflected there by the York defender. It looks so to me, but I don't know. That was another great opportunity from Brock, and, and early here, we're seeing the best opportunities come from the Badgers. I mean, they're getting right in, in front of the net, and just still 0-0. Zero, zero. Luckily here, surprisingly, for the York Lions. Seems like the Badgers are just going to try and take control of those York mistakes because we're seeing York dominate the possession, but Brock with the best chances, as you mentioned. Yeah, doing well on that counterattack, right? Yeah. It's now played up, and it's going to be a Brock throw-in coming up. Yeah, 30 minutes, it seems like a pretty even tilt matchup, and this is this is the type of look you want for your bat. Uh, oh, was this one's turned over by Kariuki. Moving into the box is York. This one fired on. However, this one's going to miss wide as Olatoy can't quite hit the net. Yeah, okay, the wind is definitely in play because <laughs> I thought that ball was deflected. I, I, I thought at least that ball was a, a corner kick there, but yeah, the wind is very heavy here tonight. Honestly, I, I thought it was just me overreacting because it's so cold, but no, it's very heavy <laughs> and it's affecting the ball. But and that's going to be something to see. Maybe, no long shots, right? No long shots from any of these teams. Yeah. That goal is going to have to come from close distance as well, so you're going to really have to work for that goal. And yeah, I mean, Brock's just looked good. This is what this is for. I mean, for 30 minutes, it's, it's only been one half. 31 minutes, 32 minutes, but the against the top competition and you're holding your own. That's that's all you could ask for, right? Like you say, the goal might have to come from close range. That may pay off for the Badgers as they are able to typically have wow. good defense from in close. As I almost have to eat my words as that shot just goes over the net. And that was a blast as well. That was that. That looked like he he wanted the win to have no effect on that. Got a <laughs> lot of power on that. That looked like a straight line drive right there. Like that was a very 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 powerful shot. Almost went in top of the cross right there. Lucky for the Badgers, it just stays a bit high, and yeah. this game will stay at zeros. And I do I do believe the wind had a little bit to do with that as well. I mean that yeah, that power looked like it was going straight down the middle. It didn't look like it had any lift to it. But the wind had that, that little bit of lift. Luckily, get a goal kick here. Miss Golzi plays this one back out to center. This one dies on him a bit, and it's controlled by Olam. Badger's able to move this one up to Nessi. Danessi now, he's being cut off. And it is going to be Badger off bar. of, oh, oh, ref overrules the other one. And it goes York's way. Battle for it now here. Nice. Still pushing through. A good attempt on the slide tackle, however. The pass by the Badgers was able to squeak through. Going the other way, this whistle is going to be blown against Pereira. And it is Sibaduka down here for the Lions. Yeah, that was a nice... I mean, that was just a bang bang play though. I mean, the two players collide into each other. You have to give it to the attacking player because they were moving on an attacking, you know, an uh, attacking play and, and it looked good for the York Lions, but for the Badgers, nice defense and nice game so far. I mean, they've applied real pressure on the York Lions here early or here in this first half. This one is gonna be blown down as yeah. the Lions are unable to keep this one in play. I mean, yep. the fans are really getting on there in, 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 <laughs> the, in the York Lions' heads right now. I mean, you can hear the influence of the of the crowd. And hey, the fans are hoping that goes in the Badgers' way into a Badgers' goal here. The Giovanni plays this back to Bassetti, who's going to drop it off for Mascolzi. Mascolzi plays this one back out to center, and yeah, you can yeah. just see that wind yeah. coming into play. <laughs> I mean, that ball just it went straight up and stayed there for a little bit. That was... Even those goal kicks, Muscozzi got to rethink those as well, right? Got to maybe those short passes to Kiriuki and, and and your back line. 
he's not going to do it that time because he sees the Nessie right there. Nice pass right there, though. Luckily, there's only 10 minutes remaining in this yeah. first half. So the Badgers will be with the wind in the second half. So these long kicks may work out for Muscozzi, but right now, Badgers are going to have to try and keep it down. Yeah, I mean, and it doesn't look like the wind is, is going to slow down any bit. You know, it's looking like it's going to ramp up, if anything, the way it's just been. That, the last hour was a little bit uh, less, and, you know, this hour is a little bit more. So for the Badgers, yeah, that switch of field is going to be great. And they've played well this whole first half. I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see how they end this first half, how aggressive they are in getting that goal, because they've had those opportunities. So, like, let's see if they could get maybe one or two again to go here, maybe get a goal before the half. York now with it on the middle of the field. This one's played to the near side to Jerzyk. This one deflected away by the Badgers. Danessi now in a battle for it, being grabbed. This one's played back and the Badgers will control. Uh, just a little too slow. You don't want to look back. You always want to pass it forward. Always want to give it forward. And, you know, even though, even if your play is broken up, it's better to be broken up when you're in the front of the field than in the back of the field, right? Yeah. The Badgers now with the ball at midfield, moving it backwards once again. Trying to get over this near side. This one's deflected. Controlled by Pereira. Pereira plays this one through for Carroll. Ooh, Carroll still going through. Moving down, Gretsch crosses it over the middle. This one's broken up and cleared back out to center by the Lions. What an opportunity there for the Badgers. I mean, that pass got through as well. Carroll did nice to just get his foot on the ball. Oh, come on. Pereira tries to play this one to the box. However, it's broken up by the Lions. Oh. And that one's going to be whistled down as he's a bit too strong on the shove. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I, I mean, that one looked a little bit soft. I mean, because it looked like you know, the, the player fell or the player um, got on the floor a little earlier than he should have. I mean, he was looking like he was already in motion of falling as the Brock player was making contact, but it's been a physical game. Don't blame the ref for giving that one. This whistle's going to be blown. And it's going to go against Geyer. And Ooh, Geyer looked confused. Quick. Yeah, they do take it quick, and they're pushing down that right side, trying to cross it back. However, no one's there, and a goal kick will be coming up for Miskolzi. Luckily, too, because none of the Badgers were prepared for that attack. I mean, yeah, York took that as quick as they could, and they got, you know, the upper hand. And you're seeing that as well. I mean, York is trying to take their little times to try and make this defense make a mistake. It's been so stout that, you know, the, the, the York Lions have no shots on goal. You know, number one team in, 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 in the OUA, number one team in the nation nationally ranked and you know number one offensive uh, offensive team in, in the OUA as well this year and I just have done well to hold them up so not just no goals but no shots on goal that's impressive yeah, the Badgers haven't been able to contain them very well to this point oh a bit of a soft Dangerous, pass here Pereira yeah. can't quite outrun the keeper as he blasts this one down the far side but a bit too strong, and that one's gonna roll out of play and be a Badgers throw. <coughs> I mean, seeing that Pereira just adding pressure onto that onto that defender there, and that that high line. I mean, that yeah, the super high line that this York team is playing could come back to bite them because I mean, just one defender back here, two defenders back here. If Brock can just time it perfectly, they can really work that counterattack into their favor. And it's gonna be interesting to see in that second half if the wind does keep up, if they do play such an aggressive high line, because that wind might just slow them down a bit and cause a turnover, potentially, as Brock, as York now pushes down the far side. The cross attempt is gonna be broken up and it's gonna be a corner kick coming up for the Lions. Yeah, no, but you're right. To your point about um, them, you know, seeing the win and then that high line and that might affect them. And we've seen that this 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 half, right, where those instances where the ball just stayed a little higher than, I mean, a little bit more in the air than it should have, or the pass straight a little bit uh, more, like it wasn't going to its target because of the wind. And yeah, if they keep playing this high line, it might get it, affect them. Wow. Now played through the crease and broken up somehow by the Badgers. York still remains with possession. Long range shot. And this is going to miss wide. And it's another injury down for the Badgers as two are slow to get up. 
It looked as uh, the linesman had the flag up as well. So even if York did get a shot on goal there and got a goal, it would have been flagged offside. But Badgers always do great work when it comes to, like when it comes to set pieces and comes to like uh, corners and, and and the free kicks that they score. I mean, they're always doing great work defending against it. Not seeing the Badgers concede a lot from that. Not seeing the Badgers concede a lot from anything. But set pieces rarely ever you see the Badgers concede from there. The injuries there were on Bassetti and Di Giovanni, so two key pieces of that back line. They look both to be okay. And it's going to be a Miss Golzi goal kick coming up with under five minutes to go here in the first half. Still a 0-0 draw between the Badgers and the York Lions. This one's played back out to center, and it is going to go Brock's way and be a Brock throw-in. And even though, honestly, you look at this game and you're looking at it and you're saying, okay, like zero shots on goal for both teams. You're, you're thinking, hey, it's not been, it's been a defensive game. But Brock's had their chances. They just didn't get the shot there at the end. And that's, I feel like that's going to be the question at the, for the second half. If, whoa, that's right there. Nice, nice pick up there by Miskolzi and that Brock defense. But it's going to be the uh, question in the second half. And, Question at the, uh, these last four or five minutes here for the Badgers, if they can just complete the, the work uh, at the end, you know, that offensive uh, work, you know, they have the great passes here in the middle of the field, right? Boom, they get down there, Danessi's moving, moving. Is it gonna work? Like Here's the cross from Danessi into the box, and this one, it was a bit of a challenge to clear that out for the Lions. Badgers remain in possession, bit of a shove. Whistle is going to finally blow, and the Badgers are going to get an amazing chance here with three and a half to go in the first half. Yeah, but you're seeing it and just, you're seeing that, that, that cross in by Danessi just be broken up by that York player and that just final third not being able to get anything to go here for the Badgers. And yeah, just got a lot of opportunities and got out of all those opportunities, just one shot off target. Zero shots on target. Let's see if the Badgers can get something. Maybe this is a perfect uh, range for a free kick shot on goal. Fernandez certainly has the leg for it. From pretty close range. Big wall in front of him. Here's Fernandez. Takes this one on target, and that one's just going to miss wide of the net. That wasn't a bad kick at all right there. I mean, yeah, he's seen, he seen the ball well. I mean, that was, you know, he didn't even put too much lift on it because he didn't want the wind to affect it as well. So he was, yeah, he was thinking well, uh, right with that, with that kick right there, but just unfortunate that it just goes just wide there for the Badgers. Nice defensive there. Just got to continue to, continue to, attack and continue to try and get these York Lions to make a mistake. York pushing with pace the other way. It's Mack. He tries to play this wow. one through into the box. Nice work, Miskolzi. And Miskolzi is able to break that up. However, now he's down with a potential injury. Yeah, he yeah he got a, a leg on his uh, chest right there. Nice tackle. He, he, he came up, nice anticipation, and he made a nice play on the ball. He, you know, read the play correctly. You know, uh, some keepers could have stayed on the line and then just trusted their, uh, their uh, diving skills and the, the player, the offensive player to miss the ball, but Muscozzi just be the uh, attacking player to it, the, the York uh, player to it, and got the corner here for, for the York uh, for the York Lions here. I mean, that was a nice defensive play. Let's see if they could just break it up completely and get a clearance here. Here's Matt kicked in, and it's off the head of the Badger. We're going to get another corner. Yeah, that looked like a good corner as well. That, was, that looked like it was going to that near side court, uh, near side post. And there was a York Lion there waiting to just clean it up. Mac again fires it in. It's low. And it's able to be easily broken up by the Badgers. And they just kick it out of bounds. And yeah. it's going to be a throw in coming up. Tried that near side post again. That, was a, yeah, that, was, that wasn't too bad. And they had a little bit of success. I mean. Yeah, but Brock is just so stout in those set piece defensive league. I mean, they've, yeah, as I said earlier, I I really can't think of. Definitely at home, they have not conceded a goal set piece wise, and you know, all season it's just been you know not a lot of goals scored at them at all. So set pieces have been one of those uh, parts of the of the game that they've really locked up other uh, opposing offenses of, and tonight they're doing well of doing that against York. About 30 seconds remain here in the regulation of this first half. Offsides going to be called, 
Or no, sorry, it's a goal kick coming up. And again, nice defensive work there. I mean, I think that was offside, right? It looked like the flag was up. I don't know. Yeah, it was either the flag was up for offside or it's just a goal kick coming up as it was Oh, kicked of out. Oh, okay. I see that. But I mean, yeah, nice 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 work defensively here from Brock this first half. I, I expected the York Lions to at least get one shot on goal this 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 half and zero. Zero shots on goal. Forty five minutes gone. It's only added time right now. As you said, officially into added time in the 0-0 zero, zero tie. This one's played back out to center by Miskolzi. And foul will be called here against Hendricks as he tried to go over the back of Karyuki. Don't imagine a lot of time should be given here. A few fouls in this first half, though, so I, I see a few minutes going. So maybe Brock has another opportunity, maybe make another play at goal, though. And probably a few minutes added on with a couple injuries for the Badgers. And this one's gonna be played out of bounds and a York, York throat and will be coming up on the far side. York trying to slow this one down, maybe get something set up before half or maybe just kill the clock out. They're gonna play this one through with some pace. However, a bit too strong once again. And it's gonna be a goal kick coming up from Miskolzi. And the ref is just gonna call it there as we have reached halftime here in Alumni Field between the Brock Badgers and the York Lions. We are in a 0-0 tie. Join us back here after this break for some second half action. Dear student athletes, it's been quite a while since we last saw you in action, since you last played your sport with immense satisfaction, a while since trophies were raised or banners won, since games were played or races run, since you gave it your all out on the field, knowing full well what that effort could yield. Like buzzer beaters, game winners, and championship glory, like a picture-perfect ending to your university story. It's been a while since there were school colors to don, and far too long since the sports you love have been gone. But with adversity comes resilience, with waiting anticipation, and with this impending return, no doubt comes elation. But that overwhelming euphoria comes for good reason, as you anxiously await the start of the season. When last year was not to be and your sport you could not play, we know you were counting down to this long-awaited day. So after an emotional year that left you no choice but to persevere, the time for a triumphant return is finally here. It's time to drop the puck, to tee off, to take your mark, to step back in the spotlight and reignite that spirited spark. Because we now turn the page on that extended hiatus to get back to the passions that will forever elate us. And as the saying goes, it's always darkest before the dawn. But after 18 gloomy months, we can finally say, game on. Ontario University Athletics has more than 4,000 female student athletes getting into the game. Some are playing for the little girl in the stands, aspiring to be a varsity athlete like them. Some are playing for the powerful group of allies that surround them both on and off of the field. 
and some are playing to show that talent, dedication, and hard work transcend the labels of gender. Many females, however, see their sport journey end during adolescence. For those who continue on, Varsity Athletics offers opportunity. It offers community. It's a means to not only continue your dream on the court, but excel beyond it. Because some student athletes may be looking to become Olympians and world champions. Some may see their passion for playing turn into a call for coaching. And some may aim to transform their athletics into prominent positions beyond the sporting world altogether. But for whatever their motives or goals, it's important to have the means to pursue them. It's important to feel like you can inspire the little girl in the stands, compete with your teammates, and break down any barriers to get to where you want to be. And above all else, it's important to remember that we are one. exceptional student athletes are born, where records are broken, where great plays are made, where school colors ignite passion, where champions prevail, where tradition is celebrated, Ontario University Athletics.
Welcome back in here for second half action at Alumni Field between the York Lions and the Brock Badgers. In that first half, we are at a 0-0 tie. I'm Mitchell Kane alongside Isaiah Nenny. Isaiah, what did we see here in that first half? We seen a very competitive half from the Brock Badgers. I mean, they defended well against these number one ranked offense, York Lions, and they also attacked well. I mean, they got their opportunities to go as York is attacking on this near side here. Kiryuki did a nice job as he did in that first half as well. But yeah, York Lions, I mean, the Brock Badgers, uh, played well against these York Lions in the first half and you know for uh, a team like York Lions that have uh, you know number one offense and number one attack in, in, in the nation it's it's really surprising that Brock really held them to zero um, shots on goal in that first half as well you know not a lot of opportunities for the York Lions and that was surprising and the Badgers ooh, as the ball gets deep into the Badgers half shot here 10 but this one's just gonna miss wide and yeah nothing like that was happening in the first half for the lions right so you know that's a nice start for the lions here but yeah for the badges just had a nice solid first half lions yeah like i said nothing like that happened for them and to get that nice start in this second half is is something that just starting to get their momentum back into in, into gear where they're trying to get that opening goal and definitely have the opportunities uh, have been given the opportunity so far and this is definitely another one to get that first goal. The Lions are the number one ranked team in the nation and we're seeing early only a minute in they're kind of showing that number one strength. This one's crossed in the box bounced around still in deep for the Lions. Bouncing around here, Brock's able to clear back out to center. Chance now going the other way. Pereira pushing with some pace. He's eventually cut off and stopped by that line of York. Yeah, that defensive line did nice work, especially the player running with Pereira to just slow him down a little bit because Pereira was looking really fast and looking like he was going to make a run into the uh, you know clear space with him and the keeper but just there just uh, nice work there by the York Lions D-line right there to just keep them 0-0. York with a deep here in Brock territory. They try and move it towards the middle of the field. Gonna push it to that far side now. Plays into the box but cleared out by Karyuki. Still bouncing around. Trouble here for York. It's popped up. Plays it back in to Mac. Ooh. And Mac is taken down here. Whistle's going to go. And it's going to be a free kick here for the Lions. And they're attacking better this half to start this half. Looking like they're keeping the ball much more. And it's just harder to get them off the ball now. It's looking like they're uh, a little bit more focused coming into the second half. So it's going to be played back to the goalkeeper, Danessi, applying pressure. But the keeper is able to play this one out to his defenseman. Yeah, and we almost seen the wind come into play there where the ball was hanging a little bit. And Danessi was almost able to get that uh, uh, on top of that ball and be able to just make a play with it. Dangerous play there almost for, for the York Lions. Mutaj dancing around. He passes this one off to Di Matteo. This one's going to be played on that far right side. It's Mac moving around. He plays back to his defenseman as this one's now swung over to Pavla. York just cycling it around here, trying to get anything set up. A nice move towards the sideline. However, it does go out of play as Subaduka can't quite keep this one in play. Brock now with a throw in on the far side, trying to move it up towards center, cut off by Mack. Mack's able to regain possession for the Lions before turning it over to Nessie now. Nessie tries to play this one through, but it's deflected up and away and controlled by the Lions here. In less than five minutes into the second half, already seen some back and forth action. York dominating a bit early, but Brock has had some minor chances going the other way. Yeah, York upping their ante and Brock just going back to where they started, or right back to where they started and, and just trying to produce this half uh, on top of that as well because they had a very strong first half and just trying to 
add on to that and maybe get that goal on here hopefully get that goal on here if you're badger but your clients yeah they came out much more aggressive much you know cleaner passes in that final third and starting to look a little dangerous themselves this one now played through for Danessi. Danessi, what a play oh but a nice challenge here by zimaz the goal tent the goalkeeper as brock just had their potentially best chance of the game yeah and, and you wonder if that player didn't stop running that the Nessie pass would have been like his, but I mean, as well, he would have been offside probably, but that was that was an opportunity right there. The Nessie trying to just pull a, a moment of brilliance out of his hat and Brock almost opening up the scoring here. What a pass by the Nessie on that yeah, play. Yeah, I mean, mean <laughs> falling, falling backwards. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy, right? And I, I mean, honestly, that's that's the type of brilliance that you need, right? If if you're a, a, a bad draw on the field right now, not a lot of goals scored for you this season. So that's yeah, that's that that was impressive. Then hopefully they get some impress more impressive plays like that to lead to a goal. A scolzy bomb this one down the field, and York is going to let this one go all the way down, and it's going to lead to a goal kick coming up for York. Dangerous play here from Subaduka, who almost refused to play that ball, which almost led to a turnover. This one's going to be off of York, and Brock's gonna get a throw in here deep into York territory. Uh, and you've seen that York line right there just trying to waste a little bit of time and just take the ball, and Badgers are trying to just use that sense of urgency and go quick. So you're starting to see this wind affect York a little bit as that one kick by Zemas just almost sailed directly sideways on him. And yeah. he didn't get very much distance on it at all. Allowed Brock to make another play at the ball and now it's looking a little less, ooh, nice ball up front there. A very nice ball here. This one's played through. Challenged by the Brock defense. Long shot on net. This one just misses wide. Some good passing there shown by the Lions, but Mutaj just misses this one wide left. Some some good passing and some good ball control. Mutaj, I mean, he moved, he controlled the ball, moved the ball to the side, got his balance, and then was able to just get a shot off right there. Went wide, but what an opportunity there for the York Lions. I mean, here early in the second half, attacking very, very well. Much better than that, that first half. Score still remains 0-0, 52 minutes into this game. Scolzi holding the ball here as Brock will have a substitution. Looks like that will be the captain, Antonio Di Giovanni, who takes a seat. And I believe it is Ferraro into the game for the Badgers. York now with this ball in their own end. They're gonna set up. Badger's not applying any pressure here. This one's played over to the near side to Mutaj. He's gonna get it over to Pablo, and Pablo's gonna push it up the right side. This one's played back to Pablo. Moves it back over. And this one's now tried to be played through on the right side. York gets nothing from it, so they go reset in their own end. Push it to the weak side. Pressure applied by Danessi. Danessi nearly forces a turnover before he's able to play back to his keeper. This one now just played to the side. And a whistle will blow. And 19. It's getting called over by the official. Gonna get a little talk to. A little dangerous play there, almost collided heads. Doesn't want that to happen again. Just wants it to, you know, reinstate the safety rules and all of that of the game. But yeah, for the badges, I mean, a little stale offensively after being so. I mean, they got they got their opportunities, but got the, those passes up front. Gotta they they gotta start working a little better before you know the opportunities start becoming better and start you know being a little bit more substantial, right? They, I mean, they're getting up there and then. The York Lions are doing well to recover and break it up very early. Same thing goes for the Badges as well. York hasn't really, I mean, they got those one, two chances uh, to go, but other than that, it's just been a really well defensive game so far. He's now loop with it. He's going to play back to Karyuki. Karyuki pressured here. 
be able to get off Bassetti. Turn over here. All in. All alone. And it's kept off the goal line by the Badgers. Still loose. And it's played out of bounds. What a play, defensive play here by the Badgers. What a so defensive play there by Kiriyuki, I mean. Got back there. And, and, and the York Lion player took too long to shoot that ball. He put no power on that ball as well, allowing Kiryuki to make that play. That was that was confusing a little bit to me. I thought I thought the York Lions got in one nothing there. It was just bouncing around in the crease. Kiryuki steps in and clears it off the line. Here comes the York corner. This one's popped a mile high in the air and able to be grabbed by Miskolzi. I don't know how this game's still 0-0. What a play from that Brock defense there. Massive threat here avoided by the Badgers, and that may just give them some momentum. Going the other way, this ball is played through, broken up by the Lions. And that one is off the hand of Principato, and the Badgers will now get a free kick from yeah. just over midfield. I mean, they're, they're applying a little bit of pressure on you. Feel the Badgers get a few opportunities to see what they can do with the ball now on the other side of the field, York side of the field. Maybe get a loft ball in, short pass. Just apply some pressure on these York, uh, York lines. Danessi and Pereira here standing at the ball. Yeah, it looks like a short pass is going to be played. Yeah. Danessi gives it to Pereira, who gives it back to Danessi, who fires it deep in. And a dangerous chance. Dangerous. Goes up the ladder is Tizmaz who's able to grab it and control for York. I mean, they almost got another opportunity at goal there too. So both of these offenses, both of these attacks are really just getting their opportunities right now. They're, they're attacking very well, both of these teams. I'm very surprised on why, how it's 0-0 right now. It's just very well played uh, defense. I mean, for both of these teams, just being there, right place, right time. Most especially for Brock. I mean, Karyuki, that Brock, that Brock, uh, you know, back line holding strong right there on the most dangerous attack of the game. I mean, it was him, just in, uh, him and the keeper. He dropped, he dropped Miskolzi. He dropped Miskolzi. And it wasn't just him and the keeper anyway. It was him, it was him in the net. And to keep this game at 0-0, very impressive from that Brock defense. Threatening chance now here for the Lions. This one's popped into the box and played up, and that one's just over the net here. And it's going to be a goal kick coming up for the Badgers. For the most part, I mean, York's attacked with a lot more, a lot more aggressiveness, a lot more dangerous feeling to their attacks this second half. I mean, they, they're getting deep. They're getting shots on goal and just continually just showing why they're a very dangerous team. Just over 12 minutes in here to the second half, and we're already seeing a lot of action here as Badgers now move it the other way into Brock territory as Carroll plays it through for Danessi. Danessi stops up and it's going to remain Brock ball deep in York territory. And this is, you know, another, you know, it's just been changed of sides so quickly in the second half in the last five minutes. It's really been a momentum shift there. I mean, it's just been back and forth. Let's see what happens here with the Badgers. Good throw in here and York immediately all put their hands up, signaling handball. Ref does give them the call. And They're trying to go quick there as well, did it? Yeah, and this will be a turnover from the Badgers. York now trying to move it back up to center. Principato, what a move. Yeah, Using he's that frame small of but his. mighty. Yeah. yeah, small but mighty. I mean, just got down, wasn't able to take the ball from his feet right there. Principato listed at five foot four, was able to sneak under that. Brock defenders attack. So play back to him, and he's just going to move this one straight back to his defenseman. It's going to be played all the way back to the keeper. Brock applying pressure. Pereira just took a poor angle, and the keeper was able to dodge that attack. York moving the other way. Played back out to center. Principato and Danessi go head to head. So now move back through. Played down the near side. York trying to get it back to the middle. Played back to Principato. He pushes to the far side. Challenged here by the Badgers, and Badgers force a turnover. And they're going to be able to pop this one back out to center. Danessi applying pressure here. This one's going to be kicked back to the keeper. 
He's able to control and move it back outside to avoid the danger of Danessi. About 30 minutes to go here in this one. Still a 0-0 tie between the number one nationally ranked Lions and the Brock Badgers. Yeah, and what a game. I mean, it's been such a tightly co uh, contested matchup between these two. I feel like the first mistake that happens, that's a goal because and both of these teams haven't made a lot of mistakes as well. So it's been very, very, you know, well played game by both of these teams here. This one just trickles too far. Principato isn't able to track it down, and it's going to result in a goal kick coming up for Barack. And just that lone goal long target from, you know, that Kiryuki block, that's the only one all game. And it just goes to show how hard it has been to create anything. Number one offense comes in, and they're having trouble against this top-ranked defense. It's really a bit bad of heavyweights. This one played to Mutage. He tries to play this one through. Good chance for the Lions here. And this is going to be a goal kick coming up. Yeah, your, your player not doing uh, well enough to just hold on to the ball or be able to just not get the ball come off him. And right there, um, just poor touch, poor first touch. Ball went a little bit too far away from him. Brock defender made uh, the play back and got him to turn over the ball. Turnover here. Brock able to track down his own turnover. And then try and push it up. This one's just going to trickle out of play and give me a quick Brock throw in here. Bassetti trying to clear it out of the box. Possession regained by the York Lions. This one now turned over to Nessie trying to track it down. He does. Push it to the far side. And this one's going to go Brock's way for another throw in. <coughs> Brock looking to slow it down. Bassetti with it, trying to push it up here to loop. And this one's just a bit too strong, and it's going to be a throw in coming up for York deep in their own territory. Yeah, like we said, those long balls are going to be hard to get in anywhere tonight. I mean, even even though the, the wind is a little bit more in favor from, uh, in Brock's side of the field, wind's just been so heavy. It's, it's not in favor of anyone tonight. Guy is able to get this one back to loop, but it's turned over. Principato now. He touches it up. Battle for it. Bassetti is out muscled there. York trying to push it the other way. Yeah, York played did a nice job of keeping his balance there. Beautiful. Low cross is sent away and into the trees here. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> that but, might not be coming back. Yeah, probably have to look for it in the morning, but I mean the Badgers, uh, for the last few minutes, York's been attacking. I mean, they've been attacking dangerously all half, but last few minutes, you kind of see a little bit of fatigue with that back line as well, where it's like maybe a little bit of vulnerability, right? Some good checking here by Ian Tomasi, but Di Matteo was able to fend it off. Good ball through here, and a better tackle made by Barack. And a bit of contact, and it's going to be a Brock throwing coming up on that far side. That was nice work there. I mean, defensively, still just continuing this uh, perfect game defensively, basically. It's done everything, that back line has done everything you would ask for and more. Whistle's going to be blown here, foul against Brock, and a free kick coming up for the Lions. going to be Mac taking it for the Lions. Yeah, really windy night here in Alumni Field. Just, the wind just picked up and never stopped. But not affecting any of the attacks tonight. You're seeing a lot of, you know, even though there's not a lot of shots on goal, I mean, it's been a lot of, you know, excitement to go in this game and got another opportunity here for the Lions. Low one is kept away by the Badgers. It's played back to Principati, who's going to slow it down. York trying to cross it back into the box, cleared out by a header. 
I don't know, for it. Principata with it on the, he moves it to the far right side. Nice bit of footwork from Mac. Mac gets it over here to Di Matteo. Di Matteo walking in, tries to push it through the middle. York still in control of it. Battle for it. Ball's just loose around and finally cleared out by the Badgers. York really dominating the possession right now. Getting a bit concerning. Brock playing very defensive. A hard takedown here from Solomon. Yeah, but as you said, I mean, York has held on to the ball for a long period of time in the second half where they've just controlled possession and, and the Badgers really haven't been able to get the ball off their feet with as many pressures as they can. I mean, the Badgers are pressuring and not when the ball gets all the way back here, but the Badgers are pressuring and still the, the York Lions are doing a good job of getting those quick short passes and getting the ball off their feet quickly where it's where, you know, uh, they're not losing the ball. This one's now played back to the York keeper. Tries to play it back up to center. This one's cut off by Karyuki. Battle for it now, and Brock gains control and moves it back to Bassetti. Bassetti's going to move it back to his keeper now in Muscolzi. Muscolzi looks for an outlet pass. He moves it up the middle. Battle for it here. Some contact made. And the whistle's going to go, Come and it's on. going to be against the Badgers. York ball coming up. Uh, I, this is, you know, that's a tough call right there. Especially where it was, you know, just both players going up in the air, but ref looking out for the safety of the defender there. Some subs coming in here for both teams. Looks like Kelly into the game for the Badgers. About 25 minutes remain here in this one. Still a 0-0 tie. Only one shot on target in favor of the York Lions. And York with possession in their own end. Principato with the ball now on the logo. He moves to that right side. This one's played back to the keeper now. Nessie tried to apply pressure on the keeper, however he clears this one back out to center. So now taken away by the Badgers. A bit of a tie up here, and it's gonna go the Badgers' way. Badgers kick coming up just over midway here. Yeah, and now Badgers have an opportunity to just change the tide of the game, get ball, and just be able to move a little bit more with uh, in, in the York uh, side of the field after York has held possession for as long as they have in the second half, this is a good change of events for the Badgers. Danessi looking to play this one into the box. This one just floating way up in the air. Dangerous chance, still bouncing around in the box, able to be cleared out by the Lions. Badgers try and push it down that far side. Danessi now with a chance to get across here. He does get it into the box. Karyuki with the shot and the whistle will blow in the box as Karyuki just ran him over there. Wow, what an opportunity and what a progression from the Badgers. They've, yeah, they're, they're moving down there and they got a shot off there. Wow, what an opportunity and just unfortunately blown off there by the referee. Karyuki just a bit too physical there. Good chance for the Badgers. Great chance there. However, the score remains here at nil-nil. Principato now at midfield with it. Dumps it off to that right side. Back to him. York trying to move it up this weak side. This one's dropped back here for Murhaj. Gets it back to Principato. York with possession of it. Brock giving them some space to walk in. Battle for it. Whistle is going to go here. Got a bit too physical there with Fernandez. And the call will go against the Lions. Yeah, and that's, that's a good play there. I mean, nice defensive work there by the Badgers again. Badgers looking to move it up this left side. This 
one bouncing around near midfield. York with it, plays this one through, and is broken up by Bassetti. But possession regained here by the Lions. Lions looking to move in on their right side. This one played into the box. Sent away by the Badgers and will be popped back up, played by Principato, and moved back to the logo. York resets. Plays it on this right side. Tries to move it down, taken away by the Badgers. Danessi now. Danessi's gonna try to slow it down, but it's a turnover here. York looking to move it around. They move back to their defensive line here. That's De Villefort who moves it up to Principato. Principato walking in. Now played on that right side, cross into the box. However, it's right to the gut of Miscolzi. He's able to bring that one in. Oh, as the wind just gets his last breath, see a few players just go down. A few cramps for sure. I mean, it's been cold. It, it has just been really freezing. You can see a few hamstrings going there. Yeah, just gotta get some changes, fresh bodies. This is definitely a game where, definitely with the weather and everything as well, you can't you can't trust it and, and, and keep them in, even though they're reliable players. You gotta you know they're gonna be pulling uh, some hammies here and you know, capping, uh, getting some hams. I mean some 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 cramps. This has been a cold night here at Alumni Field. A Parcio in for York, Solomon in for the Badgers. This one's now played through. Getting those fresh legs right into action right away. Battle for it, and it's going to go all the way out. A goal kick coming up for the Lions. Yeah, that's nice work right there by the Lions. Defended two Brock Badgers and just him, and he did nice to keep them off the ball and not touch it himself to keep it for a goal kick. York now gives it off to Principato, who's got some space. This one turned over. Moving the other way, some contact made. Whistle will be blown a bit late. A card is coming out. And it is going to be a yellow card against Joe Mack. It's definitely right there. Definitely a yellow card uh, offense right there, especially because Brock player was about to make the, the run on the outside, right, where it was going to be free space, just him and, and, and the ball. And uh, the York player, even though it was a, a foul and it, it resulted in a card, he did the smart play and breaking up that play and taking the foul and taking the card to stop that dangerous Brock attack right there. Brock trying to get set up right in that box. Danessi with the kick. Plays this one deep in. That's just carrying in the wind. And it's going to be a bit too strong, it looks, and it will be. So that one just goes out of play. Danessi was lined up almost at midfield, and he's just that one just carried in the wind all the way out of bounds. York now with it on this near side, looking to push it up. Principato with it. Moves it to that far side. York plays it down that far right side. And it's going to be a throw in coming up for them. Looks like another substitution will be coming in for the Lions. Keeping those fish, uh, I mean those feet fresh, you know, and yeah, I, I mean this is looking more and more as the time goes on, as a defensive battle, who's going to be able to make that first mistake? Who's going to be the one to allow that first goal to go in? It's going to be interesting to see these last 17 or so minutes. Principato out for the Lions and Bianchi in. This one's now played into the box, and Miscolzi's able to bring that one in. About 16 minutes remain here. Still a 0-0 tie here at Alumni Field. Rock Badgers holding their own against the number one nationally ranked team in the country. Yeah, that's, that's one thing for sure. They only have one tie this season, right? And for the Badgers to be in this position, even though anything could still happen with about 16, 17 minutes to go. They've played really well this whole game. Majority of the game, I mean, all of the game, they've held their own against these uh, number, nationally ranked number one team in, 
the, in, the, in the country. So, you know, this is a good look for the Badgers. I think it's a confidence boost as you're going into the playoffs. You know, as I was saying, 1-1 one, one would be better than 0-0 zero, zero or one nothing win. But, you know, it's hard to score against a good team like this. Possession has definitely been an issue for the Badgers as York has really dominated the possession in the second half. However, if they can keep them off the score sheet, then it doesn't really matter how you get it done. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just the truth of the matter. As long as you get it done, you know, nobody looks back at the specifics and the little small details that made it happen. They look, they, they only do that when you don't get it done. And you're looking at those details when you need something to prove and you're, you're not getting it, you're not getting the results you want. But this is a favorable result for the Badgers. Obviously, everybody would like a win against a team that's winless, but I mean, lossless, but you know, it's, just, it, it's, it's hard to, to beat those type of teams as undefeated teams because they have so much class on the field. New York with possession of it now. This one's moved over to Mack. Mack moves it near the sideline, trying to cut it back towards the middle, and he's taken down, and it's going to draw a whistle, and a good opportunity for a free kick here for the Lions with under 15 minutes to go. Definitely, definitely, and time is definitely not on any of these team sides if they're trying to get a win, so they got to act quickly. This one fired on net, controlled in easily by Miskolzi. Been very reliable in the back for, for the Badgers throughout the season, and tonight he's just been that and more. I mean, very reliable in the back for the Badgers. Just like you said, just like always, as he has posted that 902 save percentage this season and only .5 goals against. going to trickle out of play and it's going to be a Brock throw-in coming up. Brock looking for an answer here. Around the league tonight, TMU defeated the Queens Gales by a score of one to nothing. Oh, wow, that's a surprising. On the road. Yeah, that's, yeah. oh wow, they beat them in, in, in uh, Kingston. Yep. Wow, that's surprising right there. I mean, Queens, the uh, the reigning OUA champions, defending oh, uh, reigning and defending champions. That was it's impressive. They they've had an impressive season. To get that last loss of the season, last game, kind of hurt against TMU nonetheless. York now with possession of it. Trying to slow it up and move it back towards center. Brock just not allowing York inside at all, just keeping them on the perimeter, not allowing any good chances. So now played through, good ball, a good attempt at a keep in. Dangerous play here, this one's gonna be played right across to the keeper. Pressure applied by Brock. That one just floats right up turnover here. Brock now with possession of it. Trying to turn around to Solomon. Solomon tried to get it across to his teammate there. However, there's only a York player on the receiving end. They're trying to push up with some pace now the other way. Danessi with some pressure and he's able to force a turnover. Brock now with it to Kelly. Kelly's challenged and York's able to snag the ball off of him here. This ball off the leg, turnover. Solomon trying to move it up the other way. Sorry, the Fernandez. And that one looked like it hit off a hand, no call. York now pushing the other way. Dumped off to Mac. Mac with some space the other way. This one attempted to be played through to Mac. Mac gets it through. Miskolzi just clears it away with a kick. And it's gonna go all the way down and eventually be a throw-in. Great work there for Brock, but he can just make it back and ah. It's, it's a, oh, ah, it's substitution anyways, everyone's gonna make it back. Wanted him to make them uh, defend his back there, slip up, make a mistake, because there was only two of them and the goalkeeper back there, but 
I mean, there's only 11 minutes to go, and I'm not really seeing a lot of openings here for both teams. This has been no. such a tightly contested matchup between each other. They've really gave each other uh, nothing, you know, and the opportunities they did give each other, you know, not being able to capitalize on those, it really hurts either team. It hurts York most especially because they got an opportunity right on goal, right? The ball was going right into the net, and Kiryuki, he did, you know, wondrous, um, you know, wondrous um, defending, and he got back, blocked that ball out, and miraculously kept this game at 0 0. So it'll be interesting to see these last 10 minutes, see if there's anything to go here. Brock holding possession of it now, try to fire it down this far side. And York's just going to have to quickly play this one out of bounds. Let's give you a Brock throw and coming deep in your territory, which we have not said a lot in the second half. Yeah, no, that's true. I mean, Brock has not attacked, I mean, not attacked the way they've wanted to. You know, in that first half, they were a lot more aggressive. They were getting down in this York territory much more often, but it's just been a lot. Oh, in the box here, Ooh. fired through, and Danessi just misses the net here. What a chance for the Badgers here with under 10 minutes to go. Wow. That was the opportunity of the game for the Badgers there. I mean, York got one, and now the Badgers got one. Danessi got straight in front of the net, and just nothing to go there. That was unfortunate there. So now played over towards the sidelines, kept in by York. This one's now popped up a mile high in the air. Just killed by the wind, Karyuki trying to push it the other way. Battle for it here, Mac is just gonna let that one go out of play. This one's played back to Mac. So now just kept in, a hard tackle here. And that's gonna draw a straight card as Mac is down holding his ankle. Mike Fernandez draws the yellow card. Yeah, this is this is just I mean that was unfortunate. I I mean un unfortunate. Sorry for the Badgers right there. I mean pulling out the yellow card as well. 80 80, you know, 9 minutes left and 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 York just getting lucky and I mean not lucky, but just getting Nice breaks in, in here where Brock was about to counterattack with that and just getting a good break. Seeing the wind just affect that. Out. That one's turned over by Mac. As he popped right up after that ankle injury and took the kick for the York Lions. Yeah, the, the wind is just relentless. It's not letting the ball go in that direction without a push. <laughs> Brock fans are also relentless towards Mac after that injury. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's for sure. So now played out back towards center. I love that the fans did come out, you know, tonight, though, and, and the weather, you know, it yeah. is. And it's still a packed house. Alumni Field always gets, you know, the Badger fans always coming out to support the teams. And, you know, with this with this type of weather, I, I mean, this is this is a game I watch on OUA TV. Yeah. <laughs> this is, it's the, if you're here, it's, it's cold. It's really, really cold, like freezing cold. Crowd is completely packed here at Alumni Field. York tries to play this one in. Battle for it now, controlled by York. Max able to play this one through on that far right side. Battle for it. A nice defensive play here by the Badgers. As possession is gained. Ball's now bouncing around. And Danessi's able to make a play and move it up for the Badgers. Solomon now with the ball. I don't see him on the far side. This one's now finally is played through to Jake Kelly. And a good defensive play here made by 14. You were right beside me pointing through. You're trying to tell him to move it up yeah, to Kelly. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they just took way too long to get that ball there. And you've seen allowing York to recover and be able to make plays like that. And I feel like just being a step behind attacking-wise, that's why it's been like this for the Badgers, uh, for the Badgers' uh, most part. I mean, for the most part of the season, you just got to be... Just got to take that chance and take that pass, even if it's a little, maybe it's you, you were thinking of the win and, you know, not trying to lose the ball, but got to take chances. That was a perfect opportunity for the Badgers to get on the board as well. Yeah. Six minutes remain here in this game. And it is Mac who goes down again off a foul by the Badgers. 
move now onto this near side. York cutting in with some speed, tries to dump it off for Mack. Mack's cross attempt is blocked away and cleared out by Loop of the Badgers. And there, I mean, we're seeing the Badgers defensively come up again. Just wonder if one of these teams could get a lucky break and get just a moment of brilliance, get a goal. Here's a cross into the box, bouncing around, cleared out by the Badgers. It's gonna be Danessi who's gonna have to try and take him one on four here. Danessi looking for space, tries to play this one through and he's just gonna move it deep into York territory before this one's end up being controlled by Vilfert. Rocks, York slowing it up here. Trying to push it through the middle, and another call will be made. Yeah, a lot of a lot of calls in these last ten five minutes. I mean, it's been maybe the weather, maybe the way the game's just been going. It's just been it's kind of been stalling. The game's kind of been stalling in these last ten five minutes. Even uh, even though Brax had a few chances and York's had a few chances, not a lot to go with the play of the game, the flow of the uh, flow of the game. It's just been. A lot of fouls. Mutaj's kick into the box. It's cleared out by the Badgers, stays in the box. York trying to dance around with it. Badgers trying to get it out. Bouncing around still, and the Badgers are able to pop that one up. Whistle blows, and it will be an offside call against the Lions. I mean, yeah, that was a opportune uh, time for the, the Lions right there, and Badgers almost got caught sleeping there because the, the, the clear the clear out by by the defender by the defense back there was not well uh, done well and just got lucky that that the side that the ball went on was overloaded with Brock players and lucky that the wind pushed the ball that side as well and play just got broken up that way. Under four minutes to go here in this one, still a nil nil tie, and this one's played out of bounds and the Brock crowd's giving it to him. Yeah, I mean, and even though it was probably the wind that played that out of bounds more so than him, Brockout isn't going to let him think that any anything else said that, and, you know, it was his fault. <laughs> Bit of a shove here given from Solomon onto Vilford there. Vilford wants a call. He's not going to get it. Yeah, it's been a very, I mean, very aggressive, I very tense second half right I mean both of these teams just at each other's throats and you can see the tensions are flying or flaring here goal kick now for the Lions this one's sent out to center controlled by the Lions however deflected off the leg of the Badger defender it's going to be blown down by the officials just just about three minutes to go. Badgers, the Lions here, a tightly contested matchup. And I mean, could this be the Lions' second tie of the year? I don't know. It's looking more and more like it, but it, it could be. It could. Uh, any of any of these teams could still win with a late goal. I mean, they have the brilliance and skill for it up front. Both of these teams do. Bomb from Miskolzi here gets it deep into York territory, pressured by Solomon, but cleared out by Vilford. Ball's just bouncing around in the air now. And it's going to be a York throw in coming up with two minutes remaining here in regulation time. What a game, honestly, between both of these uh, two teams. I said earlier it was going to be a battle of the heavyweights when this game started. And it definitely has been a battle of the heavyweights offense versus defense. Brax played a little bit of their own, uh, you know, attacking brilliance this game. but their defense so oh, man oh man is, is it something you know as they're going on as you said Mitch you know this is this is defense wins championships and that's just a fact so you know if Brock can get the, those timely goals and be able to just because what you got to score in what three games that's it right three yeah. four games right and then you win so if they could get those timely goals four goals that's how you need in the postseason four goals be able to defend you could see the Badgers do something, go deep into the playoffs. They got a nice unit to just hold any team. Yes, their defense is ranked, I believe, top three yeah. in the OUA. And yeah. That's always threatening to any team coming into the playoffs as it's Justin Hendricks down with an injury for the Lions. Yeah, it's unfortunate as well because this 
just a minute left to go in the game and the injury time that's going to be added on now is you know gives him time to be able to do something but I don't know if anything's to be done too much without their without their striker in front and throughout the whole game just three total shots for Brock and you know all off target eight total shots for York and you know they got that one one uh, on target shot they've attacked well but just nothing really to go for both of these teams and as Muscozzi takes his time back here as the York player is almost uh, you know off the field this looks like he's off the field now um, this is going into the 90th minute five seconds to go in regular time I see how much I'm interested to see how much time the ref gives an injury time obviously he's definitely going to give a minute for that last minute they spent, but this game's looking like a zero zero. It's looking like York might have just gotten their second tie of the year, which was would be an impressive result in my opinion for the Brock Badgers, a team that the last few weeks have been flailing a little bit, not getting the results they've been wanting. A few losses here, three straight losses actually at one point in, at this late in, uh, part of the season. So a tie against the best team in the conference, you'll take that for sure take that as we are officially into the 90th minute this one's popped a mile high in the air yeah battle for it the way the wind is moving it's not gonna allow the ball to leave the middle of the field yeah york now moving with some pace the other way here comes mac with it on that far side he's looking to play it in he does this one's gonna be cleared away and fired out of bounds by the badgers imagine that this is probably the last possession I mean the last attacking opportunity here for the York Lions so they got to make this count this one's played back out to center controlled by the Lions Lions looking to move it the other way whistle's gonna blow here as another foul will be called against the Badgers Lions moving quickly turn this one over played back out to center and it's gonna be a throw in the Lions here Battle for it now on that far side, controlled by the Lions. Move it over to the near side of the middle. They play it back up the right. This one's turned over now. Danessi battling for it. Regained by York. And York moves it over to this near side. York likely in their last push. The whistle's going to be blown here. And that's against number 10, Michael Fernandez. And here comes a very good chance for York to potentially get on the board in the 90th minute. Yeah, and as it's been a few minutes in this injury time, I feel like this is this this probably feeling close to the end of this game. So this is looking like one of the last opportunities of the game. If you're a Badger fan, you're hoping they defend well. Mutaj fires this one in the box. It's popped up. It's still floating around. Badgers are able to clear it out. Still bouncing around. This one's fired down. One on one chance. Game. And the ref is going to blow it there. And here at Alumni Field, the Brock men's soccer team has drawn even with the number one ranked team in the country, the 9 0 and now 2 York Lions. The men's soccer team ends their season 4-3-5 and five as they head into playoffs. Stay tuned next week on OUA TV for Brock playoff action. For Mitchell and Isaiah, that's all for us tonight.